Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this Nightbird video. We are live at the time of recording this doing a Smackdown watch along. But uh, of course the QR code dropped and I want to make sure that we're getting this information out there. Some people won't have seen this yet. Some people might not have found all of these things. Um, so a big shout out to everyone that discovered little bits here. So many people getting in touch going, have you seen this? Have you seen that? And it is all appreciated. Uh, I think for this video, we're going to focus on kind of what has shown itself already. And to be honest with you, I'm sure there are other little bits that are hidden in here that haven't been found yet. But a lot of the stuff seems to have got found quite quickly, or at least that's how it seems. So the QR code dropped during the show. You can see it was during the Nia Jax Naomi match. You can scan it if you want to uh, do it yourself. So uh, you scan it. And then you get a video, right? It just takes you to a video. What's worth talking about, though, what's worth mentioning is the uh, code for that video. So it's wwe.com slash RRMBHPAW. My first thought was RR. It always makes me think Royal Rumble. And then I was looking at the rest and I was like, money in the bank. And then I was lost. I was like, no, that doesn't work. It doesn't fit. And I was like, oh, I can't figure this one out. But a big shout out to Uncle Howdy at Real Uncle Howdy. This was the first person that I saw mention or work this out that it's the puppets. RR is Rambling Rabbit. MB is Mercy the Buzzard. HP is Huskus the Pig Boy. And A Dub is. Abby the Witch, of course. So that's the URL, and that's what we think it teases. That's a big moment, man, to do with the puppets. So that was uh, pretty big. The video itself starts with the then, now, forever thing, and then it goes into uh, just a load of text, to be honest. We don't see the bride or anything like that, but there's a lot of uh, text and uh, a lot of messages that are in there. One of them is the words of... Of the red, right? And I like this from UC uh, Dub Is War. I, I know exactly what this we means. Uh, Bray said that he was the color red in the world of black and white. So if Bray is red, then the words of the red could be the words of Bray. Right, which I kind of like that. Uh, there's people saying, oh, have you checked out this song that's called The Words of the Red? Could Red relate to uh, Eric Rowan? You know, there's loads of those kind of theories doing the rounds. I, I do like this one, though. I like The Words of the Red being the words of Bray because Bray said he was the color red in a world of black and white. I really like that. So shout out to uh, UC Dub is War. Apparently, in the source code, uh, there's a few hidden bits and bobs, but also there's some uh, letters and words hidden on screen as well, just under the video, uh, that say, Sorrow prepares you for joy. So, Jay Villa, shout out to you. And uh, here you can see that Sorrow prepares you for joy. It appears to be from a quote from uh, Rumi. Right. And this is uh, an old quote from a long, long time ago. So Santa Knight, shout out to you. But sorrow prepares you for joy is a quote by Rummy. So sorrow prepares you for joy. It violently sweeps everything out of your house so that new joy can find space to enter. This feels very much like Uncle Howdy and Bray's passing. And it shakes the yellow leaves from the burrow of your heart so that fresh green leaves can grow in their place. It pulls up the rotten roots so that new roots hidden beneath have room to grow. Whatever sorrow shakes from your heart, far better things will take their place. So sorrow was felt when Bray passed away, but tomorrow is another day and better things await. So I think that's a real positive message. Uh, some of the other things that were in there, like only my family. Uh, in the final moments, you can see an outline. So here you can see the outline behind people saying they think that's the fiend. And it could be, to be honest. I mean, that really could be 
uh, the fiend's face. I got it to a point where it looked like the sheep's mask to me. To be perfectly truthful with you, I got it to a point where it seemed to be a bit of a snout and eyes and ears. So it, it could be that this is like the fiend's face. I, if I was a betting man, would say that it's a sheep's mask personally. But um, it's, you know, not clear enough to be 100%. But just under where it says my family, you can sort of see the bridge of the snout, the bridge of the nose. So I'm a bit divided on this one, but definitely it feels like there is an image at the end of the video that's kind of behind the text. Obviously, people are going to really hope it's the fiend and it, and it very much could be. But I think it's the sheep's mask. And I think this is a tease for Eric Rowan personally, right? I could be wrong. Uh, so there's a race your mind uh, just showing that sorrow prepares you for joy and kind of uh, where it was found. It was just above that red line, I think above the video red line and then hidden there is sorrow prepares you for joy. In the source code, uh, there is a link to this YouTube video, which is Plato's Parable of the Cave. Uh, and there's a link that takes you to that. And obviously we know about the parable of the cave, how people were watching in the cave. Uh, so uh, we've seen that before. Uh, so that's a lovely link uh, back to that. Uh, this is the actual video itself. We're not going to play it now. It runs for 1 minute 54. As we said, if you want to watch it, you can scan the QR code that's on screen. That'll take you straight to uh, the actual video. Or you can go to uh, the internet and type in that code, www.com forward slash R-R-M-B-H-P. AW that will also take you to this week's video. Uh, and as we said, it starts with the then, now, forever, goes into the text. Um, and there may be the odd image that's in there, but it didn't feel like it was image heavy, to be honest. It didn't feel like there was loads of hidden messages, but probably still plenty of meaning that was in there. Here you can see in the source code uh, that uh, link that was found to Plato's parable of the cave. That's the story of people being in the cave, being trapped, one person being free, seeing the real world, trying to come back and let the others know, but they didn't believe him. Uh, so uh, as we said, that was quite early on in the Nightbird campaign. Then we had this from Richard who said when it glitched, he saw this. I can't quite make out anything out. I did wonder if it might be the cabin that was set on fire, you know, the Wyatt compound. But I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if there was anything in there. And then just to let you know that uh, it was played Nightbird, of course, during SmackDown. So that happened as well. So that, I think, is everything that's been found so far. I'm sure that this will continue to show us other things and reveal other secrets. But that's everything that's been found so far.